Hey, it's some old guy coding again. And the question was asked about uh, more detailed wiring information here. So we're going to take a look at my messy wiring situation here and, and uh, take a look at that and uh, point some things out to you. This is a control panel that I made. Um, it mostly just switches on AC power, uh, DC power, and then the laser on light that's out in uh, uh, over the door um, to the room here. Uh, I got a thermometer in here for for no good reason, but this is the. Uh, we'll move you back a little bit. This is the LCD controller, and. Um, of course, that's mounted in uh, the case that uh, uh, Altad or uh, Ryan designed. Um, I got nasty screws holding it together. And the cables go down uh, through this little tray that I printed. Just because I got tired of my uh, control here sitting down in this area and wandering around. This way I can always get to it. So I've got my drawer here kind of clamped open with a spring clamp so it can't get away on me and uh, we'll take a look at uh, some of the wiring in here. It's a bit tight in spots. And here you see the case that I have built. Uh, it was the original one on the back here that had the vents coming out like that, except that I found that uh, I couldn't fit it where I wanted and I wanted a fan on there that, so you know, it was sitting up originally and it just wouldn't fit under here. So I laid it down and I printed another uh, fan front for it. I uh, had to nipple away a little bit of stuff there to, to get it to fit. <clears throat> but before we look at that, so the first thing off the top here is uh, in back here I have a, a power supply from a 1U PC. It's a rack mount PC that's uh, one unit tall. So that they can, uh, um, so it's a thin one. Um, problem with some PC power supplies is they will not power up unless they sense some sort of a load on the 5 volt I believe it is uh, leads but this one seemed to power up for me so that worked well <clears throat> so um, of course you can use the power supply that came with the kit the 5 amp uh, power supply that came with the package or uh, as long as you're not doing 3d printing any small you know like 5 amp uh, uh, 12 volt power supply should work <clears throat> So here's where the power comes in. Let's see if I can get these wires. I have the ground uh, screwed into this end of the connector and the positive at the next spot. Uh, the next spot is ground and then positive again so that <coughs> you can add more power coming into the board, more current just in case you're going to be running a 3D printer and a heated bed and a heated head, you know, extruder. Um, that allows you to get more current into the board. But I'm not running any of those heavy things, so I've only connected up two wires here. <coughs> and this is a this is a connector that pulls right off, even when it's in the case here. So maybe this would be a little bit better to go. So uh, as you can see, I did a terrible job of getting those wires in there. <coughs> but uh, it's ground and positive and then it's going to be ground again and positive if you need to add the other ones here and I'll show a picture of that. But that's a nice little connector. You can just wire that up and then plug that into your board. My board happens to be in this case, but there. The other connection out here is uh, going to be hard to see, but if I turn it over, let's see if that's on camera. There's my USB cable, and I've got a short USB cable here to uh, connect when I need to uh, to a PC or a Mac. And then all these other cables coming in here have to do with uh, uh, the steppers and uh, everything else. So <clears throat> currently, I don't have any end switches on the uh, system, so I can't show you those but I do have another video out there that discusses the end switches and the connections for that and I will crack her open so over here on this side you can see that there's two cables coming out for the LCD display and we'll take a peek at that once we're inside and of course I've got <coughs> a fan covering this because those uh, uh, drivers do get warm so let's crack her open here let's take a look at that fan first here's the wires going back to the fan inside the box, I shouldn't be. 
to the outside. And they're actually just a 12 volt uh, um, fan that goes back to a connector that's plugged back into the regular Molex connectors of the, of the power supply. So it's just a 12 volt fan out there. You could piggy the piggyback that on top of the uh, connectors here, or you put the wires in for the power supply. Uh, I just wired them separately because I have a heck enough heck of enough time trying to get the one wire in there and screwed down. <clears throat> so um, this wire that fell off nicely is the wire that controls the laser, and that's um, I forget the number. I suggest you go take a look at the video. I believe it's that in there. Uh, I couldn't even identify it for you at the moment. <clears throat> um, that did require a change in the code. Um, I used the fan speed to control this PWM output, and so a, cha a change in the code for that. <clears throat> but let's ignore that for now. And of course, here's these two uh, large, um, I'm not sure what they are. <clears throat> Somewhere in some instructions, someplace, I read that they should be separated and not squished together. So I've got them nicely spaced apart there. And this is the, up here, is the uh, stepper for the uh, fourth axis that I've been monkeying around with. That would be your stepper connection for your uh, extruder if you're doing a 3D printer. <coughs> Let's take a look at these Molex connectors once. I finally did buy the kit to assemble some Molex connectors. And when it comes to connecting to a uh, stepper motor you just want to make sure the power is off first of course before you make any connections and make sure that you're getting it on all four all four pins there which uh, I can't see of course so they're way too small there so let's zoom in a little bit and see if you guys can see some of this stuff so what I've got here is I've just got the stepper motors plugged in that's really all there is um, it's X, Y, and Z coming from the power connector end, and uh, we'll just pull one of those guys off, just like that. So that would be the uh, Z connector, and there's the X connector, and uh, y, y connector and the X connector. It looks like there's a lot of wires in here, but that, that's really all there is coming through here. And <coughs> on some of these, I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me see if I can tip it a little bit. There you can see it. There's two sets of connectors on that Z driver. There might be on the other drivers too, I don't know for sure. But that is just because on some 3D printers they connect two uh, stepper motors to uh, this driver directly. Or uh, with our situation I've got two stepper motors connected or actually the Z axis is only one stepper motor but the other stepper motors are connected together via the harness that uh, we got from uh, the Vicious One website. So when it comes to the Z connector here, it doesn't matter which one of those you plug it into because they're wired in parallel. Connector back on there. <coughs> see it get my eye rubbed against it using the braille method with my eye get on there all right so if your uh, system came from vicious one it's probably already got the drivers in place uh, of course you want to put those little heat sinks on top of the uh, driver uh, the chip in the middle of the driver being careful not to short anything else out around on the board and of course these little driver boards just plug in I don't know if I'm going to be able to get one out here but uh, they're just uh, strips of connectors here and uh, you can see that the little pot uh, points toward the power supply end uh, where the power comes in so get them in the right orientation even this one back here has the pot little pot pointing toward uh, the power end of the uh, assembly. There's two connectors back here that look just like these two connectors and uh, the set that I purchased was um, where am 
I trying to say? They were keyed so that they could go in any way you want, uh, only one way. However, <coughs> it is possible to swap these two and get them crisscrossed from what they should be back here. And the only thing that happens if you crisscross them is that the LCD light will just uh, come on and won't display it. The LCD will come on and bright and it won't display anything. So if you went like that, so I've crisscrossed them now. But usually, there we go. There, it just turns on with a blank panel. There's no text on there or anything. So those are connected in reverse and we'll just fix those again by swapping them around. It's no big deal. Uh, that situation does not damage the display or the board. <coughs> so I'm going to pop these guys off. Oops, let's get that light back on. There, see how that looks. Yep. So I'm going to pop these guys off. <coughs> and they're keyed uh, on both ends, at least the set that I have is. I would hope that your set would be keyed too, so you, because if you take these, you can get them in the wrong spot. But if you turn them around and plug them in, now mine won't, mine won't even go in there because it's keyed on front here into that slot. If you turn them around, it will damage the LCD display. But that should not be a problem because it uh, should be keyed. Now this is that little adapter board that you have to attach to get your LCD display uh, to work. Let's see if we've got this on camera even. Nope, there we are. So that's a little board that comes with the display to connect to the ramps card. And you can see there's rows of uh, receptacles in here that nicely fit with <coughs> the rows of uh, pins along the edge here and then this little uh, connector on the end. Let's zoom in a little bit. So it fits over this guy and it fits over this thing of pins. So when you assemble it, you want to make sure, absolutely sure that you're getting all the pins in there and nothing's bent or tweaked. You don't have any pins sticking out at odd angles or from under the connector. And that should fit on nice and smooth. There, so that's back in there. So let's connect these guys back up. So the, uh, the end switch connectors are here. Let's see if that's on camera. Nope, not really. The end switch connectors are uh, right there, and I've talked about that in another video, so certainly reference that one. So, if you have any other questions, um, I think I covered the wiring of the stepper switches uh, before, but if anybody has any questions, certainly give me a holler and I will do my best to answer them. Um, certainly, uh, I try to respond to everybody. Sometimes it takes me a couple of days, like uh, right now the wife has me involved in uh, one of her uh, um, fundraising sales for uh, the local uh, cat and dog rescue. Um, so, uh, I've been busy on my time off, but certainly uh, within a few days I should be able to respond to you on, on uh, YouTube and certainly ask away. So, so once again, uh, do all the connections with the power off, and then uh, hopefully, when you power it back on, everything will work just fine. Thanks for watching. <laughs>